Seven Days to Die just got a huge makeover with a 1.0 update, which means I'm forced to play 100 days because you guys are content junkies and I love you. What this means is that with this update, the entire game got a huge makeover with new character looks, armor changes, progression, and a bunch of new POIs. On top of that, since you enjoy when I suffer, the difficulty will be on insane from the start with a 64 Blood Moon count as well. Nothing about this playthrough will be easy, but I'll do anything for love and attention. As requested, there will be 10 10 day episodes and a final 100 days. And without further ado, let's get this started. Oh my goodness, this character creation. That literally looks so good. Oh yeah, back at it, baby. Is anything different? Gosh, I look like... Uh, the, all right, the character does not fit the game. Redeem your first challenge reward. With the new progression, anytime you complete a task, as you can see at the top right, you'll get XP. Hey, a bush. Hey, a bush. Hey, a bush. If you've ever played Seven Days to Die, then you know every time you load into this game, whether it's a mod or not, it's all the same. It wants you to craft an axe, a bedroll, a land claim block, and then it'll let you know where the traitor is. Oh, a primitive outfit. So the clothes changed? Wow. Okay. So it doesn't go by. It's just the whole damn outfit. I was compliant and did everything the game wanted me to. I made a bow, some arrows, a club, and an axe, and then I was on my way. Here's a little taste of how insane difficulty is. Wow. Wow. Wow, this crawler is just getting the best of me. Holy crap, brother. Can you die? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's insane. Definitely insane. You know we couldn't stop at insane difficulty though. We had to make every single zombie, whether it's day or night sprints, and there's also ferals. Oh, this is not good. Whoo! They do a lot of damage. We're running. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh! My survival instinct is better than that of a primal chimpanzee. Since this isn't modded, I can't camp out at traders overnight. And as you can see, night is approaching, meaning I got to talk to Rekt and get out of here fast. Let's go ahead and check all of this stuff. See if there's any goodies I can get from any of it. Forged ahead. I love that. While I was here, I sold a few things I found along the way to get some money for food and water. But another thing they changed during the big update was how much money you get from selling and from rewards, making things even tougher. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, do you have a weapon or something? Let's get this over with. You don't have a weapon. No way. He doesn't have a weapon. I'm trying to think of what the best weapon is going to be for the start. I'll just let you guys know now. Later on, I'm definitely going to use one of those forgetting elixirs to reset my points because they were all over the place at the beginning. What do I need for a stone spear? I need some plant fibers and then we are good to go. It is almost nighttime. Why do you got to do this, man? We'll open the door for you and then I'll close it. No! All right, I see a city. I'm just going to go for a house and try to camp out. The unfortunate part is once I get to somewhere, I have to clear out the zombies before I can even camp out. And that's just... It's not looking good for me. I'm so scared. Okay, you guys, you do your thing. You break that toolbox because you know what? It means you're not killing me. Wait, what? Oh, we're safe. Okay, well, I'm fine up here for the night. At this moment, I have a few points into agility and spears, and then also one point into cardio. This is all going to change later on, but for now, it'll do. Living life on the roof of a mobile home. Zombies trying to kill me. They're still going to be sprinting. I don't know why I care about daytime so much. With a quick sprint to the floor and gathering some plant fibers, I was finally able to make a spear, meaning I could defend myself a little bit better now. I'm noticing with this difficulty and the modifiers that I'm never safe. No matter where I am, zombies are always running after oh. me unless I'm on a roof. No! Come here, Bob. Hey! Hey, get over here. <gasps> she came up here. Oh God, oh God, oh God. With this situation, I had to pretty much relearn the entire game because my old tactics weren't working. Everything is fine. All right, I, I, I can kill this, right? 
Ah, oh, stressing out over nothing. The bow and arrow was probably the best weapon for me because I wouldn't have to get close to the zombies when fighting. So being up here was perfect as farming vultures with a knife gives a significant amount of feathers. I was really just trying to complete even one building so I could get the end loop, possibly get a weapon and be set up even more. But everything's just way too damn hard. It took me a while to complete, but I lured each zombie outside to have more room to fight before clearing this place and being able to loot. At least me clearing this now gives me a place to rest for the night. Big Mama. Big Mama's really aggressive. Why does she have so much health? Oh my goodness, that's 10 heavy attacks. There we go. Hey, 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 a shotgun. It's something. Found some ammo, a hunter mod. After securing my loot, I barricaded the top floor and camped out here for the night. And while I had some downtime, I checked out all of the new outfits, which by the way, each one has its own unique buffs that increase with the tier of the armor. So for instance, the athletic armor gives you cardio boosts, but that will come later on. For now, I made a primitive hood so I could have better head protection, and this is what I look like now. Damn, look at me. I look like I'm in grounded. I look like a freaking tree warrior. In the morning of day three, I was practicing on how to use bows because I never really use them in this game and it's quite difficult to be honest. Please tell me this man's selling honey. He does. I'm gonna buy both of those because I think I might need both of them. I unfortunately still have no meds. Bandage. But I don't think bandages actually give you health, do they? They don't. It just stops the abrasion or bleeding. So the only way I can get health right now is from food. After dealing with Wrecked, I headed back to the city because I felt like in my current situation that I needed to run buildings and get more weapons or better weapons before even running my first quest. And now resources were harder to come by as I can't safely farm out in the open. With that in mind, I farmed pallets anytime I saw them. Yeah. We got some meat. I'm already struggling. We don't need to add more friends to the party. I have no money. My logic here is that even though I didn't find weapons at that first building, I did find a lot of goodies that I can sell to possibly buy weapons. I need to build some sort of hideout that I can come home to. This wasn't going to be my place of residence, just more so a place to drop off loot and respawn if I die up until I finish Rex questline. Once I get my bike, I'm going to venture off and find a way better area. Ouch. I could die here. I could die, I'm at 18 health. Later on, I crafted a storage box and got my inventory organized as you don't have much backpack space compared to mods and I don't wanna be encumbered while exploring. And because I actually care about my life, I didn't wanna go back out and just wait it out the night. What am I supposed to do when you're that fast, you bob and weave like a freaking rogue and I cannot hit your head? Okay. You know what? I'm over it. I'm over trying. I was trying to deal with the morning horde, but they were too fast and too strong. So instead, I headed towards my first quest of the playthrough in hopes that I could complete it. Ah, uh, here we go. As soon as I arrived, the zombies were endless. It took me about three minutes to kill each one. So what the hell am I even doing here? Oh, I see the treasure. I see the treasure. Let's go. I did it, I did it, I did it. I gotta go to my house first and grab my money because I'm gonna need to buy heals. I have to buy food or something. A pipe rifle bundle, pipe. Okay, this is beautiful. Let's just take the pipe pistol. I mean, this ha uh, he has no heals at all. Oh, we have a gun now, so that's something. I only have 15 rounds, but if I make it last, I think I'll be fine. My goals were different this time around. Instead of running an ass load of quests, I was just gonna do the first seven, find the next trader, but from that point, I'll have a bicycle and I can explore whatever areas I want. I really wanna complete a tier six POI by day 20. And that's not gonna happen through questing because that's not enough time. So I just have to hope that I can find good enough weapons before then. Here we go. Hello, Vulture. Goodbye, Vulture. Oh, damn. I'm dead here. I'm dead here. Yep. Son of a bitch. How is it on the roof? I'm not falling for this again. Come on. Since I just died, the quest failed. And I feel like without questing, this building is not worth running. So on to the next. Some lockpicks. Give me some ammo. 
Uh, it's something, I guess. Obviously, I needed something to do throughout the night, but once Wrecked opens shop again, I'm gonna go pick up another quest and hopefully beat it this time. You might be watching and thinking that I'm not getting anywhere, but I think my progression is solid, keeping in mind the difficulty. As long as I slowly inch forward each day, I'll eventually get out of the early game. He's selling a crucible right now? It's day four or five. How in the hell am I supposed to afford that? That's so booty cheeks. I picked up a nearby clear of the zombies and headed straight there so I could attempt to knock the rest of these quests out. Whenever I would go quest, I would empty out my entire inventory because my chances of dying this time around are a lot higher. And at this level of gameplay, getting your stuff back isn't as easy as it sounds. At least there's an open area to run outside to fight. This place is mega open. There could be a bunch of zombies here. I think the hardest part about this so far is each and every zombie is a struggle. You have to tactically fight them, find ways around dying because it's like three or four hits and you're gonzo. And like I told you guys earlier, I'm relearning how to play this game on a higher difficulty. I looted absolutely everything because now money's really hard to come by. It would just be the end of the world if I found something worth a damn, wouldn't it? What are these break down into? Leather absolutely baby we'll take that all day oh i jumped on top of him maybe one day i'll kill him damn it you what that's locked so last place i can go is the roof where there's gonna be even more zombies there was only two and they both together took me over a minute to kill and it's broken i have no weapons All right, that'll work. All right, there's one. Homeboy came back, homeboy came back, homeboy came back. There we go, baby. I completed a quest and I got some sham chowder and a med kit too. To top things off, we got a freaking med kit. Please tell me you got something worth a damn for me. 90% of the time, unless it's a lot of ammo, I'm taking crafting skill magazine bundles at the start because we got to get those skills up. With the quest I just ran, I found a lot of valuable items to sell, which I ended up just using for three armor books because I unlock every armor set at level 11. Ooh, two more armored up. And bow hunters? I can craft tier two bows now, baby. Let's go home and craft a bow. Okay, fine. I'll talk about what everyone is thinking right now, which is how in the hell am I gonna deal with Horde Knight when my strongest weapon is corn on the cob? But listen, I have a plan. I always have a plan. How do I make iron arrowheads? I need to make that at the forge, so that's just luck. These, I need feathers. I can craft 65 if I blow all my wood. Might be worth it. Trader Rick is closing soon. Spend some fucking money already. The amount of editing I would have to do to cut out all this man's curse words, we're just gonna leave it in, and I apologize to anyone watching. I can craft a tier two now. I just need some plant fibers. So we can just scrap this bad boy. Put this here. I need to repair this. Since I rarely go out at night, I try making use of my time by either repairing items, crafting new higher tier items, and doing whatever I can to not fall behind. Luckily, we're doing this in episode format, so you guys can let me know if going into Gunslinger is even worth it. I think that machine guns will always be better than pistols, but let me know below. I'm currently wearing medium armor, correct? No, this is light armor, so I'm a complete idiot. It was officially day six, and yes, it's still dark out, but I got antsy and decided to leave. That's when I was dealing with a crawler and saw there was an entire roaming horde behind me that I failed to deal with, and it came back to bite me in the ass later. No, 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 no! That is a huge horde! It can't be, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be, there's so many. Well, here we go. Little Timothy Chalamet and his accomplice ass eater Frank were no match for me and my sheriff pistol. Ah! Unfortunately, as far as resources go, this place was pretty mediocre compared to every other POI because the only valuable thing here is plants. All I had left was to kill these last two zombies with Woody, and then I would have my loot. Ha! <laughs> Woody. Hey! 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 I was an idiot and continued putting points into medium armor when the stealth armor was still light. Oh, the thing I'm trying to craft, I just found. I'll be honest, I didn't have high hopes for any of the loot for the tier one quests, but this place turned out to treat me really well. Okay, let's see how 
Yo, that looks sick. Got all the tools on my chest. I got spikes on me. This armor increases my sneak effectiveness, and with the full set, I become hidden faster. It also reduces the noise I make, which is pretty awesome. Rekt, I need you to treat me good. Tomorrow's Horde Night, and uh, I have like six bullets. Oh, gosh. I have to take this. Repair tools, bows, and handgun. That's everything I need, actually. Bow, I can craft tier three now. Pipe pistol, I can craft tier twos, and it's actually fairly easy. It's the ammo that I'm worried about. Uh, let's see if I can get one more done today. Something close. All right, this is probably the last thing I can do before the horde comes. And at that point, I'm just gonna go to the top of a building and hope for the best. I'll build my way up and sit there because there's no way I can defend myself on day seven. Run a little cafe. Might as well search the cars while we're here. What do we have? Some vehicle books. I'll always welcome that. I'm terrified to be in here. There's some armor parts. We love that. I think up until this point, I've played the game pretty smart, not engaging when I shouldn't and using tactics like this. Nope, back to the bow, back to the bow. Sneak shotting with a bow is some of the best damage you can do early game. And after doing so to these two zombies, I thought I was done, but I thought wrong. And there's my supplies. We played it like a G. Oh wow, we got a first try. Yes, it's the first time I've gotten some real money. All right, yeah, we're using the gun. What? Come on! No! The dog ate seven or eight bullets? How's he just gonna take it like that? Man just doesn't die! I'm so over it. I'm over it. I'm over it! Go, 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 go! Why? What? He just wants out the door! No way! This dog is this strong! This is a joke, and there's a horde. Go, 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 go. What? I'm not surviving this, but at least my backpack isn't inside. Just kill me, dude. Just kill me. This is absurd. I'm losing so much experience doing this. Come on, go, 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 go! Ah, jeez. I don't know what that was. I want it though, I want it. The entire night was a struggle. And now we're on day seven, which at the end of the day is gonna be another struggle. And my family wants to know why I have mental health issues. Before going home, there was one more item in the cop car that I couldn't pick up from being encumbered. So after dealing with another horde, I was gonna go check it out. Ah, that's what it was. And then I definitely want that. What do I drop is the question. Bow and arrow comes in clutch because it's not loud like the pistol or any other gun, and it doesn't alert every zombie in the world. I bet you could have guessed, but Rekt gave me another magazine bundle, so nothing to see there. What I was working on at the moment, though, was this tier two pipe machine gun. I had quite a bit of 762 on me already, and I wanted to run this one last quest before Horde Night began. Am I cutting it close? Absolutely, but do it for the people. I gotta go soon. Where's the supplies? In here. No. Where's the damn supplies? After finding the supplies, I unfortunately got cornered by a biker man and had to blow a lot of ammo. This is unbelievable. Wh how am I supposed to get anything done? I gotta go! The loot was mediocre as always, and by this point, I had two and a half hours to find the top of a building that was safe. Brother, I'm at 11 health. I ended up finding a crossbow in the last crate that I searched, making this entire trip worth it. Much like the start of every other playthrough I've ever done, I went to the top of a building, built up, and stood on a chimney for the entire horde night. I really don't want to die. My general rule of thumb for my videos is show about 30 seconds to a minute of horde night so you guys can get your fill of zombie killing and guts, but this was really nothing. I guess if you want to count the 20 arrows that I spent killing only two zombies to get 2400 experience, which is like a hundredth of a level, then sure. 
I did that. And like I told you guys from the beginning, we're playing on a 64 Blood Moon count from the start, and we're only seeing two on screen because they're all in the bottom of the house. Easy mode, baby. Easy mode. La da da da. La da da da. La da da da. La da da da. Oh, someone's made it up here. I get to get another kill. <gasps> I'm gonna die! What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? That was a close one. Super big close one. Me falling off the chimney was the most action I got all night. And with that, it was 4 a.m. and our first horde night was over. Unfortunately, for some odd reason, when I walked off the chimney to leave the house, I got a sprained leg. So now whenever I sprint or jump, that 10 minute timer will continue to go up and we can't have that happening. So I'm gonna go back, turn in this quest and we're gonna chill out at home for a little bit. Yo, erection. What you got for me? I think I'm honestly okay with magazines at this point. I really don't care about weapons. I'll find them. I'll find ammo too. It's not that big of a deal. Hmm. You like that reverse psychology? I said what I didn't want and didn't actually get it as a reward. I ended up picking the shotgun ammo and then putting a few points into fortitude so I could level up machine gunner. What can I do for seven minutes? I guess I can gather resources. I ended up stocking up on quite a bit of wood, plant fibers, and stone before getting bored and heading towards a supply drop that was a few hundred meters away. So we're gonna walk and as it currently sits, I'll be there in about 400 seconds, which equals about way too damn long. Whoa! No one went and said the crossbow was once happened, fools. It's almost like all of the zombies in the area could sniff out my messed up leg because as I'm walking to go get the supply crate, I was swarmed by a few zombies. This is not good. No, there's a whole horde! There's a whole horde! I gotta run! And watch as I big brain my way out of this situation. I had to do this because I was encumbered and had to get rid of some items that way I could run at full speed and I did just that in perfect time. Okay, let's go. I don't even know what I got in that supply crate, but I'm hoping it was worth my damn sprained leg and me almost dying. I actually made it away from the horde, so I was able to walk again, which I did all the way to my base where I would wait the entire night for my leg to heal. It's finally almost morning. I've been sitting here all night waiting for this damn sprained leg to go away. Can I kill this deer from here? No way! After going hunting in the morning and scanning my catch, I headed back to Wrecked to pick up a quest immediately because I'm trying to speed run this and get these done. I think I'd rather do fetch. They're a little bit easier for me to survive. I was under the impression that I only needed to complete about two more before I got the seven, the bicycle, and I could leave. But the first quest that I ran, the buried supplies, doesn't count towards that chain. And with that in mind, I also failed my second quest by dying. So in reality, I need three or four more at this point. Anyways, I worked my way through the quest, strategically killing each zombie. And with half a day behind us, it was complete. My goodness, what a struggle. Ooh, a ranger outfit? That looks sick. Ah, uh, that was pretty good. Can heal up a little bit with these pumpkins. What does this do for me? Nor's increase plus 10, but it's not like everything's already aggroing me anyways. Max health bonus gives me some health and medium armor rating. I was originally gonna go with the armor that I thought looked the coolest and gave the coolest abilities, but here's the thing. Survivability is the most important, so whatever gives me the highest armor rating plus either health bonuses or stamina bonuses will always be equipped. Oh my lord, it never fails. Sham Chowder gives me 80 health. I think we just buy this. I'll at least be over 100 health. I can take a few hits without dying. I think without a doubt that the hardest thing for me to figure out at the moment is a way to heal without eating all of my food. Hit him with the trigram, baby. Hit him with the three, the three piece. Sit down, duck. Come on, meds. 
Uh, I'll take that. I'll take I'll take steroids. Honestly, the first 10 days for me were taxing on the mind, and I'm not used to this level of difficulty, but I know if I tough it out for a few more days, it'll definitely pay off. Unfortunately, running this quest made me blow the rest of my shotgun ammo, leaving me defenseless, but I think right now I'd rather have a bicycle than ammo. There we go. Ooh, that was a good refrigerator. So we just completed quest number five. I have two more, but it's already day 10. And believe me, I thought I had the time, but I for sure didn't. Completing these seven quests within the first 10 days was my goal because it would have given the next 10 days a fresh feel. I could have moved on and been done with this area, but it'll drag out a little bit more. Ouch! Oh, I'll take the honey. Day 10, I wanted to prove that I could take all of the knowledge and survival skills I've developed thus far and apply them correctly. But turns out I'm just a nobody and nothing has changed. Running a buried treasure has never gone downhill this fast. I for sure have a bone to pick with the creators of this game because I have hit this zombie about 11 times and the man is not dying. I don't know what to do anymore. The spear's trash. The baton is trash. I'm trash. Can you die? Oh, thank the heavens. Anything else? I continued digging and almost found the treasure until two more zombies showed up and all went to hell. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, br brother, just give me a second to breathe. <laughs> I want to go to bed forever. Since I died, of course, the quest failed again, so I picked up one more to try to finish by the end of day 10, which was at this rundown motel. I'm not sure you can even call this a tier one as there's two floors, a bunch of zombies, and a lot more difficult than normal, but it is what it is. And let's ask the question, am I happy with where I'm at after 10 days? I'd say probably not. I would have liked to get a lot more done, but I can only do as much as I can do. Great. Well, this is bad as ever. Excuse me, how many is it, like 30? I'm seriously convinced I've done like 14 quests already. Well, bud, it's because you have. You died three times and turns out you only need one more. Alrighty, my friends. Thank you for tuning into episode one of the new 100 days. I appreciate the support. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment down below letting me know what you think of the new update so far. Let's show episode one some extra love to give the series a good launch. I'll see you all next time in episode two for some more shenanigans. I love you all.